Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. We are doing bounties today, uh, as I alluded to last time. Uh, I've come to Act 1 and I've put the difficulty up to Torment 13 uh, because we got that ancient convention of elements last time. I thought we'd see how survivable we are at this level and we should be okay, I reckon. Should be. I hope we will be. Uh, but by coming up to a higher difficulty level, we'll get more experience, we'll get more death breaths. Um, there, there's many reasons for us to, to do this. And better drops. That's really what we're hoping to get. It's working well enough for us at the moment. Oh, I got stuck on, a, on that damn torture rack thing. Well, weapon rack, not torture rack. You guys know what I mean. Not yet. I was trying to keep uh, keep mobile and keep moving through the area. Uh, let's get this guy first because he's actually showing, and then we'll go after the other. The nasty, nasty beasties. Standing around looking like lemons. Seriously, the Court of the Sherma has been so useful. Just being able to uh, to crowd control the guys that you're going up against. There is very good value in that. Don't interrupt. I'm freeing the guy. Now. There you go. Hmm. Okay. So, two done. Let's find the third. Yeah, he's down this way. Good. I don't want to spend too long doing the bounties. We're mostly doing it just so we can get the plans for the gems. But we'll, of course, see how that goes over time. We do have the benefit of getting death breaths from this. And, of course, crafting reagents. Um, not that we're getting enough uh, Forgotten Souls to actually re-roll things. We've only done one re-roll for the entirety of the season, actually. And this is, what, episode 29? Maybe 29. Ooh, that's a bit painful. Let's charge through it. Guy is just on the other side of this. So let's go in and save him. Out of my way, everyone. I have a person to save. I mean, these militia are actually pretty badass. If you think that they've survived to this point, I would expect them to die. I would expect most people to die. Ow. So this is this is the difference the torments 13 is making. Everything is bigger. And also that shielding is bloody annoying. Yeah, I mean that was actually quite a worthy fight. Probably the first that we've had in a while. Cuz it's either like all or nothing. It's either you're doing well or you're doing terribly and there's no middle ground. That actually felt like a bit of a fight, a bit of a struggle. So I like that. Johannes. And 75 friends. I really like what they did with Leorx Manor when they uh, introduced the, uh, the royal quarters. I thought it was a very, very smart thing to do and such a perfect way to introduce a new area. I mean that was that was going back quite a quite a while now, but Blizzard has made very smart decisions in the past, even when trying not to spend too many resources on a project. 
they'll still do do intelligent things with those projects. Alright, Johannes, skeletal architect. Look at look at Cormac just standing there watching. It wasn't a duel, mate. You're allowed to help. Yeah, bits and bobs. A not that massively interesting place. Right, on to the next uh, area. Clear the clave. <laughs> Clear the clave, yes, no. Clear the cave of the Moon Clan. Is that the cave has Moon Clan in it that need clearing out? Or it is the cave of the Moon Clan and like we're taking the rubbish out? The ambiguity of English. Well, the ambiguity of language as a whole, I should say. Uh, but obviously I'm more familiar with English being English myself. You! Ta! <laughs> Didn't see that coming. It shouldn't take us too long to get to them, but I don't want to just ignore all the mobs on the way. Definitely don't want to be standing in the middle of a poison... Poison patch? It's not so much a cloud, because it's like sprouts that are kicking them up. Ooh, he's an elite. Mm. <laughs> He nearly, nearly got a charge off at us. I would not have wanted to see that. Yeah, when it takes round onto fire, we do so much damage. When it doesn't, um, not so much. We are very much a one-trick pony. I'm okay with that, though. I mean, it's... We've got stuff that works ish as time is going on, and uh, stuff that works really, really, really well for a short period of time. Long I have labored to master the dark arts. Now I finally reap the rewards. Amanda has acknowledged me. She promised me a special task that would bring endless glory. Thin the herd out quite a bit. I'm very aware that I don't want them coming closer to me. Right, my leg is vibrating just a little bit, so let me just have a quick look at that. Ah. I will deal with that a little bit later. <laughs> Not yet. Right, we've got to make our way to level two, which should be relatively straightforward. The other good thing about doing bounties is we might find um, goblins out and about, boot in a boot, and uh, get portals to interesting places. That's definitely uh, worth us finding and experiencing. There's still so many um, novelty items in the game that I haven't yet found. I still haven't found Spectrum. Uh, to be fair, you can grind it out, um, and I'm not the kind of person that's willing to put that much time into it. But, um, yeah, it would be nice to have found it. That shielding is annoying. There we go. Right, you're gone. You're gone. Everyone is gone. And we got a sword out of that. Still pretty solid, I'd say. And 
the way on is just down here. Perfect. Protection Shrine, sure, for what it's worth. We'll knock over their food as we come in. Yeah, that's actually quite painful on the whole lightning front. The rest of it finished off nice and easily. Yeah, these guys lying in wait. That's bad. Torment 13 is definitely where we should be. This is the right level of challenge, I'd say. Uh, the uh, the potion that we got um, in the last episode um, is actually useless for us because it's the one that restores resources. So yay for that. Um, definitely want to replace that with, I don't know, anything. Anything that actually does something. We may as well have not found it. Ooh, speaking of uh, goblins. Cool. I'll take all of those bits. Thank you very much. All right, there's still five things left. Probably tucked up the top. That's some of them. More death breaths. So still two left. We'll get this. We say the shield. Oh, we're actually full of stuff. All right. Well, before we go back, I will kill the last two. They must be tucked down this bottom corner. Yeah, there they are. All right. Back to town we go. ID and salvage what we have. Getting a good amount of money from this as well. Platforms. No. Ooh, Custodian wrist guards. Interesting. Uh, it's a necromancer Leoric's uh, crown, which is hilarious, but um, it's good for us to have two. One that will become ancient and then one to try and improve. Um, right, so Custerian wrist guards. I don't think we have one of these yet. No, nope, they can stay. Uh, Fyodor's wrath. We don't have yet either. It's a very pretty shield, that. That's very pretty. And Doombringer, which looks amazing. Oh, my word. <sighs> but we can't use it. We can't use it. The game taunts me so. Points in there and there. Right. So we've got to kill the Kalinskin King and do the Cursed Hatchery. Uh, let's do the Cursed Hatchery first, and then uh, we'll keep Leoric waiting till last. Let's not stand directly in the middle of explodey dudes. That was very funny. Just watching all of the shields decide they're going to catch up at the same time. I do love the way some of the effects uh, interact with each other. Stuff like that, it just it makes me smile. It's the only thing in the game that's allowed to get slowed down. Death. Just hearing the shield ricocheting off everything. Really satisfying. That would have actually been an ideal point for me to do a taunt. Just like them. Uh, but I didn't think about it until it was too late. I hear another goblin. No, you don't, mate. I mean, I've got a ranged, ranged attack. No way you're getting away from this. Ooh, elites. I mean, I could have just gone on to the Cursed Hatchery. And to be fair, Cormac was actually going on to the Cursed Hatchery. But I can't leave these guys. Without taking care of business. And getting their death breaths. 
So, we're going to wait for our bits to come back. We'll open it just before we go into fire. And then we'll see how we do this time. Because this is going to be very different to previous ones. This time, we're not going to run out of Blessed Shield. None of the issues that we've faced in the past are going to really be there. So we're just going to wait for Akarat's Champion to come back. And I'm going to try and remember to taunt and do everything else that we're supposed to. Critical hit chance goes up. Every little helps in this situation. Right, here we go. We're about to hit fire. I'd say this is going all right. It's not going like amazing because we can't just like kill an entire room in one go. It's not going terribly either. Definitely ending up with a lot more than we have done in the past. And this is a Torment 13, so I'm very happy about this. How many is it going to be? 150? There's still one left all the way down here. Jeez, they spawned way too far away. 149 before the time it gave out. Oh, I was so close. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy with that. We're not going to hit 350 anytime soon. Um... To be fair, this, this character is really not built for that. I think you probably need, like, permanent bombardments or something. Uh, let's go kill Leoric. And as I've said before, this is so that we can get the jewel plans, so that we can upgrade our gems further. Etc. Etc. Especially with the finery um, passive, we really should be paying attention to things like that because it's it's something in our build that we can directly affect. Wait, just just stop touching me, mate. Yeah, they all gone. Good. Some undead, they have no concept of personal space. Yep, yeah, I totally do, mate. One gone. We don't need to kill these, but look at the number of kills I'm, I'm getting. It's just like stacking the experience. Jesus, let's um, let's be a little bit more cautious with some of this. And when I say some of it, I mean, of course, everything that might get close to me. Mm-hmm. So that was a lot of mortifier that came in very quickly there. Oh, geez. Yeah, I don't want to be in that screen while there's this still on cooldown. Yeah, I'm just a little bit concerned it's going to happen again. So I'm going to wait until this is gone. And then we'll go and we'll alpha strike them. Alpha strike, of course, being popping everything that we have in our disposal. And uh, hitting them while the hitting is good. There we go. What a monstrous creature indeed. If it wasn't for our giant, like, disembodied shield. Well, I said disembodied. It, it's a spirit shield, really, so kind of it counts. Then uh, we'd be kind of screwed, so yeah. Let's just 
move in and go say hi to Leoric. Hi Leoric, I'm here breaking all your vases and your ashes. Don't know if these people are important to you. Hope not. Mostly I'm looking for money. I'm just like here to loot your tomb. Loot the tomb. Bang. And the king is gone. We'll get this. Ooh, that is not a... I was going to say, that is not a mace. That's a sword on top of it. But uh, the mace was underneath. Underneath and hiding. Ethereal, give me a reward. Right, what we got? So we got Plan Cosmic Strand, Plan Monster of the Ride Room, Plan Devastator, Design Wall Amethyst. That's all right. And uh, a ring and an amulet. And five death breaths. So, overall, not, not a terrible set. Devastator, Mantle of the Rigelum, Cosmic Strand. Uh, let's give Shen the Royal Amethyst. It's it's going to be slow going getting all of them done, but you know it is what it is. And of course we have Neanderthal. Golden Gorget of Leoric. Cool. And a Ring of Royal Grandeur. Hmm. I think we have a Ring of Royal Grandeur in already. Yeah, we do. Just there. Uh, the Golden Gorget's new. That can stay. Uh, the rest will get salvaged up, of course. And then I think we'll jump into a greater rift. To finish this episode out. So Torment 13 seems to be working well enough for us. That is good news. Just before we do go in. 44 Death Express. So we could try... Making the two-handed base. Oh, sorry, two-handed flail. It would help if I actually got the right item. Uh, this will, of course, end up uh, replacing um, Akam's addendum. But uh, this is all part of our master plan. Right, so upgrade rare item. Fingers crossed, everyone. Bait of the fell. No. I mean, that sounds cool if that's the kind of thing that you're going for, but it's it's not with us. Do we already have a Fate of the Felt? It seems like a really unusual weapon. No. Okay. Greater Rift. We'll push it up as high as we can. And empower it. It's only going to be one shy of Torment 13, so it's as good as. So like that we have to run a regular one, and that will just take too long. Too long for how long I have. I thought I heard a chicken outside my window just then. It's the disadvantage of wearing headphones all the time. Like, it, it will distort sound quite a bit. Nope. Notice me pop my safety shield. I mean, it probably wouldn't have survived against all of them, but it would have goddamn helped. It's certainly given us enough time to pop healing potions as well. The temptation is huge to just uh, run onwards when that happens, but you can really get yourself in trouble by retreating forwards. I know I keep saying this again and again and again, but retreating forwards is always dangerous. Not yet. Come on, mate, just die. There we go. You're embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing me. Everyone else has done the good thing. Patience. 
And actually, now that we have here Falcon's foot, we don't need um, the extra bits from uh, uh, from Akarat's champion. Because uh, we don't need the, the extra resources. That's really what we were getting from it. Um, all we need is the extra life ability. Ooh, that was that was a little bit up in the air. And I don't mean like it's not being decided. I meant like we got flown thrown right up in the air. It's okay. It's all in hand. All right, nice big packs. Making good progress, I'd say. I want some more elites to kill. But I always want more elites to kill. Just like one after another, not all staggered together. Unless I'm super powerful and we're doing a speed run. Not ready yet. Burn in the light. I mean, when you've got ricochet and massive area damage, it, it can definitely be beneficial having a bunch of them together it's just like the screen will turn into a pool of poison which is also on fire and freezing you with lasers coming out of it just watching my uh, my experience shooting up as we're killing things with the ricochets. Just watching it go do 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 Um, I'm running in place. That's not great. Totally not what I intended to do. Oh, they threw a wall in the way. Right. Garrigan level 300. Wow, what progress we have made. So I've done this in the last two uh, two episodes in pretty much the same sitting. Uh, I paused just a, a moment in between uh, to make some notes over what happened so that I can uh, write it up properly later. But it it's still amazing to think I was like 230, uh, below 230 when I started. And it is all very quickly turning around. Power pylon. That's going to help move things along just a little bit faster. Quit with all that, guys. 113 billion. Yeah, power pylon definitely helping. Not yet. I think it ricocheted all the way around that corner. That's awesome. And he's gone as well. Never know, we might get something awesome out of this rift. Ooh. And a shield pile as well. Alright, well let's let's leave that for a moment so that it lasts longer when we do pick it up. Well, not that it'll last longer when we pick it up, but so we don't waste it on these guys. In fact, I'm gonna get it now. we want it to be active when we hit the uh, the Rift Guardian. And that's what I was hoping for. I wanted some elites for us to find. 97%. 98%. Just need a little bit more. There we go. And we still got half the shield left. 
So is Gandiel. Um, a little bit flamey. A little bit flamey. Flaming shield coming right at you. Scoundrel total don't care. That looked like the freeze of deflection, uh, which would be quite cool. Uh, we'll put points into Bane of the Stricken, and then we'll go right back to Bane of the Trapped. Until we get that up to 45. I'm returning to town. In the meantime, we can go back, hand this in. We didn't really get anything worthwhile, but we'll have a, a chat with Kadala as well. So Kadala, just quickly. No. Sky Warden. That's kind of cool. That does a lot of damage. Uh, Nutcracker's a big fat no. Scorn is a big fat no. Uh, freeze of Deflection. That's actually a decent... A decent block time, well, a decent freeze time, but I don't know. At the moment, his block chance is 46% if he's getting attacked. We'll hold on to it, and I'll, I'll decide about it later. So that's a maybe. Pox folds with two... Uh, we can reroll that slash damage. In fact, no, they, they're just worse. They're just generally worse. So they'll get salvaged up. Pig sticker can get salvaged up. That can get salvaged up. It'll all, it'll all get salvaged up. Right. Kill, kill. Salvage, salvage, salvage. Salvage, salvage. And salvage that. Let's drop those gems off and that's going to be it for this episode uh thank you very much for coming along everyone i do hope you are continuing to enjoy this torment 13 pretty good seems to be working well for us and uh, we're going to pick up with more bounties next time as we carry on working on getting those last uh well designs for the jewels really that, that's pretty much all we're doing um if you are liking these videos be sure to give a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel you should do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live otherwise I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 3. See you soon.